Gold recovery from SIM cards and cell phones. A SIM card is a plastic card that is embedded with an integrated circuit, an IC. SIM cards are usually manufactured from plastic, namely polyvinyl chloride, or PVC. The SIM card uses gold to produce two parts. The first is gold wire to connect the die, the integrated circuit, to the contact strip. The second part is gold-plated contact strip to connect to cell phones. Many people are wondering, do SIM cards contain gold? And if so, how much? Today, I will recover gold from my SIM card cell phones. The key problem is the collection of enough quantity for gold recovery. We use 68% nitric acid mixed at a ratio of 1 to 1 with water to remove metal, to separate the gold from the contact area of the SIM card. Separate gold sheets mixed with PVC SIM cards using a colander, then wash it with water. Aquaregia acid is a good way to make pure gold. Aquaregia is a mixture of nitric acid and hydrochloric acid at a ratio of 1 to 3. Use sodium metabisulfate to precipitate gold out of the Aquaregia solution you will get a gold sludge powder that looks like mud. Sodium metabisulfate, also known as sodium bisulfate, is an affordable and effective selective precipitant for gold. The chemical can recover up to 99.95% of pure gold when the precipitated gold is thoroughly rinsed. It works well even at room temperature. Make dry using low heat to avoid splashes. How to melt gold into cubes. Sprinkle a little, a little borax powder before and after melting for the perfect melting technique. There are many methods for melting gold into cubes. Using induction heater, melting gold into cubes will be fast and convenient. Or you may use a butane gas flamethrower burner. You may need to be careful of splashes of gold powder while using. I hope you like our videos. Please apply for membership and share our videos to cheer. Thank you very much.